there's a secret way to sleep through the night if you have sleep apnea without making any changes to your CPAP and mouth guard, even breathing patterns. Because when you know about the relevance of arousal thresholds, which is way less exciting than it may sound, then you're able to target things differently and get way better sleep. So when you have sleep apnea, what really wakes you up, it's really not the breathing that's the problem. It's your brain's response to the breathing. That's why a lot of times they stop breathing, but they stay asleep. Others will wake up. And it's because of how much arousal you have going on in your brain. And when you have a arousal threshold, see this little dot line, when it's lower, you are going to wake up every time your brain activity goes above this line. But if we raise this arousal threshold, you will stay asleep. The best way to raise that threshold and keep you asleep is to increase the amount of time you have in slow wave sleep, a certain stage of sleep. Best way to do that, make sure your bedroom is nice, dark, and cool at night. Now, if you've already done that and you want more powerful ways to improve your sleep, you can check out our program, which is the best thing for sleep, allegedly. Uh, click the red button here or click the shop button down here to check it out or go to the website over my face. You can start sleeping better as soon as tonight.